my beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching my channel. Today I came on, I just wanted to share a small little Dollar Tree haul. I really haven't been seeing a whole lot in my local Dollar Trees and I haven't had a chance to do a road trip lately. So <clears throat> I found a few things, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat always does that. They are now selling these Dollar Tree bags in the Dollar Tree. They're pretty thin, but they hold a lot. I had a lot of food items in one of these. And the large ones, I showed you guys the smaller one before, and it was 25 cents. And the large ones are 50 cents. So I've been picking up these bags because they're just like so convenient, you know. And they have the Dollar Tree logo on them. So I got that. And out of that bag, I picked up, sorry for bending over, I picked up these new, they had these new um, paper towels, super soft, strong, and absorbent. They're not the pick a size or choose a size, but I was like, for a dollar, I was going to try them because these are ones that I use. I told y'all before, I use the Dollar Tree paper towels in my bathroom, you know, because they're cheaper. And so, yeah, I just used these. I picked up four of these, but I put two of them away already. So I just wanted to show you guys. They're nice. They feel kind of nice. I don't know. <laughs> They're, it says 90% more square feet versus competition. Uh, two ply, one roll, 55 square feet, 90 sheets each. So, and it says full size sheets. That's the only thing I didn't like about them was they weren't pick a size or, you know, choose a size. But they'll be fine in my bathroom because I use them mostly just to wipe my sink off when I'm washing my face or something. And then I saw, oh, I had to get a box of my Scotty's tissues because I use these in my bedroom now since I decluttered. I don't have a lot of room on my nightstand for the regular size box, so I use those now. And then they had these books out at the small Dollar Tree here in my town. And they looked cute when I saw them, but when I got them home and kind of started skimming through them, eh. These are called Dear Jane, Wise Counsel from Miss, Miss Austin and Friends. And they look like this. You guys can see that. Can you see that? Where's my square? I don't know where it went. Oh, let me check the light again. No. Okay, let's see if that is better. Can you see that one? Okay. There we go again. With the lighting issues. Alright, this is a little bit better, I think. But this is what they look like. Okay. And they're just kind of like, you open it up. It has the little gold um, page saver in it. And they have little questions on this side and then answers on this side. And like this one just says, Dear Jane, should I really buy multiples when I find a product I like? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> and then Dear Jane answers, It is well to have as many holds upon happiness as possible. See y'all? That's okay with Jane Austen. So that's kind of like how it goes. Dear Jane, the question, and then Dear Jane answers it on this side. And I just thought they were really, really cute. So I picked up one for myself, and I picked up one for a friend. So I was like, oh, she might like this. I don't know. <laughs> but that's what they look like. I hope you guys can see them. They're really pretty decorated on here. It looks like a stamp there. And it just says, Dear Jane. And then it says on the back, No one tells it quite like Jane Austen. This cute and quippy condomin com compendium holds age-old advice on modern to topics, ranging from online dating to asking for a promotion. Miss Austen contributes sage wisdom, along with literary greats Emily and Charlotte Bronte, William Wordsworth, Lord Bryan and others. Okay, so uh, so now it has a tag on the back of this, which I should have taken off before I came on here. Oh, good, it's an easy pill. Okay, great. So it says it was ten dollars in the U.S. and eighteen fifty in Canada. So that's what that looks like. Okay, you guys see that? So I got two of them. 
because I wanted to give send one to a friend so I don't know just something beckoning my dollar <laughs> and then I found this ice cream book which I have no idea why I bought this it just looks so cute and it's just gonna go up there and stay with um, the rest of my cookbooks but it says Humphrey Slocum's ice cream book Jake Godby Sean Vahey uh, whatever okay this is what this looks like y'all y'all see this this is so cute you open it up right here from the top and you got all these ice creams and around the world how they make ice cream then you got on the back of it it says welcome to the ice cream countercultural revolution so it's all around the world it was $19.95 in the US and $12.99 in the UK okay so it's cheaper in the UK and you open it up and you got all these really really big pictures of ice cream <gasps> yummy 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 <laughs> so I'm sitting here and I'm trying to find where is it I just I thought I saved it but I don't know they had all these books out in the front y'all and I just couldn't help myself I mean they've got all kinds of pictures like this all these different ice creams and y'all know right now it is hot I mean hot 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 in North Kakalaki right now it is so hot I have been eating ice cream quite a bit like a bowl of ice cream every night after dinner or ice pop or something I don't know because it's hot y'all it's September it's hot did I say welcome back my <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Welcome back to my old subscribers and my new subscribers. Thank you all so very much for returning. This is going to be a very, very small Dollar Tree haul. And I just saw these little feathers that I wanted to add to my fall um, collection of plants. And I just, I don't know, it just called my name when I walked past it. And I was like, these remind me of like Indian feathers or something so I got this one and it just says grass with feathers and it reads like that grass with feathers grass with feathers okay and I just thought it was so beautiful I can't wait to decorate for the fall but I'm telling y'all right now it's hot it's very hot it's like in the high 90s but it feels like it's in the hundreds no air quality at all yeah it's hot so okay let's move right along these confused me because they said new but I could have sworn I I picked these up before from wet and wild luminous deep hydrating sheet mask and a detox deep cleansing sheet mask and you get one sheet and I could just swear I picked these up before but it said new on it so it threw me off but no worries these will just go in the beauty giveaway so if they're not already there they're just gonna go in there and then I picked up a couple of craft items for someone that I'm getting a box together for and I had a pack of these myself but I think I gave them away these are the jewels and gems and they're in the different colors, but they look like butterflies. I don't know if you guys can see that. These are so cute. They look like butterflies. And they are so darling. And these are great for crafting. So I got that for her. And then I found these wood beads that you could do all kinds of, you know, decorations. And all these are from Crafter Square. This is 90 piece. The gems are 32 pieces, y'all. 32 pieces. And the wood beads are 90 pieces and they come in different colors blue yellow purple green and pink and I was like oh these are beautiful I think she would really really get um, she would really like these so I picked those up for her to go in her box that I'm working on right now and then I saw these um, felt clothespins uh, fall leaves and it's from crafted square but where I found it at in my store it was over in the uh, Halloween stuff and it was the only one I could find y'all I wanted more <laughs> I wanted more these are the felt leaves clothespins and they come on the little tiny clothespins on the back and I was like oh man I wish I could have found more because they are so pretty yellow orange and the burgundy so I got a pack of those for my decorations 
And then they had these, I really don't know what, oh, they're sun readers. And you can um, still read out in the sun. And I got my prescription. So instead of uh, just a pair of regular readers, these are called sun readers. Let me see if y'all can see this. Let's see. So these are called sun readers, and they're 150. That's my prescription for my readers, and they look like this. So you can sit out in the sun and you can read. I feel like a blind person, you know. <laughs> Sorry, no pun to blind people, but yeah, this is what they look like. And I could sit out on my patio, and if it gets too sunny, y'all, <laughs> I can wear these for a dollar. Eh, why not? And I told y'all I gave my black cat glasses away to my hairdresser's little girl and I went into my local Dollar Tree over here and it had another pair so y'all know I had to pick them up mm, mm, oh yeah these are so cute now back in the day when we had to wear these well no they were in style back then like the eyelashes have come back you know everything is just going full circle so for a dollar I grabbed another pair of those and that is the end of my small little Dollar Tree haul. But I received a beautiful, beautiful card in the mail from my bestie, my BFF, my sister from another mother, Miss Shauna Shoemaker from Hanging with the Shoemakers. You guys, if y'all have not gone over to check out Shauna's channel, please go over and check out her channel and tell her Sweet Sadie J sent you. She is my BFF. And I love her to death. And she's been going through a really, really hard time right now. Um, physically with some medical issues. But she sent me a card in the mail that says, You're a blessing. And let's see if we could get y'all to see that. It says, You're a blessing. Isn't that cute, you guys? I thought that was so cute. It's by Expressions from Hallmark. So you can see that there. Expressions from Hallmark. And I hope she doesn't mind me reading this to you guys, but it made me cry when I read it. So it says to my to my sis yeah, to my sister Sadie, I can't thank you enough for your ugh, unending love and prayers. You know this journey has been hard on me and my family, and at times I wanted to give up. But you're encouraged encouraging me prayer your encouragement prayers sorry your encouragement and prayers help me pick myself up and i know i have oh, yeah i get all emotional when i read this, this i have a um long journey ahead to health to good health i think she meant to say but having a friend a sister like you that makes it uh bearable I love you forever, Shauna. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. See, I want to cry now. I'm such a crybaby. Back when I was young, y'all, y'all needed, you would have had to skin me alive for me to shed a tear. I would not cry. But holding those tears back all those years, now that I'm older, I cry at the drop of a hat. But I just thought this was so very, very sweet. Thank you, Shauna. You know I love you, girl. You're my sister. You know I, how much I love you and I care so much about you. I worry about you more than I worry about myself. But that is the end of my little Dollar Tree haul and my love mail, you guys, that I had to share with you. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very much. Mwah. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye.